Welcome everybody to another developer update. I'm Jeff from the Overwatch team. Really excited about today's developer update because we're gonna talk about a feature that we mentioned at BlizzCon and we're finally introducing to you guys. And that feature is the server browser. So to start, not everybody knows what a server browser is. A lot of you who played shooters back in the 90s and early 2000s know exactly what a shooter bro a server browser is. But it's a really cool feature where people can run custom versions of the game and then other people can find that game in, in a public list and then join it. So we are adding a server browser that's gonna list all of the custom games running in your region. And, and what region means is if you have your um, region set to Americas or Asia or Europe, you will see all of the custom games that are set to public in that region. And there's all sorts of sorting and filtering options to help you find exactly what kind of game you're looking for. So if you know ahead of time that you wanna play a certain mode only, or if you really wanna find a certain map because that's what you wanna play on right now, you can search the server browser for that particular map and get right to it. We have a really cool filter option that lets you filter directly for things like maps or heroes that are enabled and disabled, or we've added a type in box where you can, you can type in exactly what you're looking for. You, you might just say payload or escort, or you wanna find Ilios and all of those things work and it will show you exactly what custom games match those particular options you're looking for. So we think that's gonna be a really great way for players to find different types of games that they wouldn't normally find elsewhere. Now you might be wondering, why do we add this feature? Like what does this bring to Overwatch that, that doesn't already exist? We, we recognize that the majority of our players like to play the game through quick play and competitive, and then a lot of our players engage with the arcade as well, and the different modes that are running in the arcade. But there's a lot of times where players want to try different things and play the games in different ways, and it's not really viable for us to put up a matchmaking system where we could feed everybody into everybody's different possible custom game. So for that reason, we need to give you a way to look at the different custom games that are out there and decide for yourself, you know, do I want to uh, partake in it or not? Now, speaking of custom game, you guys have seen this feature before, but we're doing huge updates to custom game and bringing tons of new functionality to the feature. One, right off the bat, one of the most exciting things about the new custom game feature is you can now gain experience while in a custom game. So that will be really cool. Um, for those of you who only want to scrim with your friends in purely competitive mode, you're now gaining EXP and earning loot boxes through the custom game feature, which should be really cool for you. The other thing that we're adding, really big announcement, Year of the Rooster event was fantastic. People have responded so positively to capture the rooster that we are adding CTF as a game mode that you will be able to enable in, in uh, custom game. And we are adding nine additional maps in addition to the three capture the rooster maps, we're gonna add nine additional maps that are conversions from our other control maps. So they're all there for you to play around on. Um, we've been having a ton of fun playing on these. But beyond that, what Custom Game has added is tons of new options for you to play around with. So uh, I'll, I'll use Capture the Flag as an example. We've been reading a lot of the feedback, listening to a lot of the feedback on Capture the Flag, and we've heard things like, well, you should require my team to have the, the flag if we're gonna capture the enemy's uh, flag. We now enable this as an option. You can set it if you think that the game mode should work that way, or people have uh, vastly differing opinions on whether or not the flag should have a pickup time. Some say it should be longer, some say it should be shorter. It's up to you now. You can set it to whatever you want it to be. If you want it to be instant, that's awesome. If you want it to set it to longer than we have it, you can do that as well. We've also added a, a dropdown that lets you select uh, whether or not hero abilities work. So maybe all heroes' abilities work like they do currently in the mode, 
by default, or if you'd prefer, you can make it so no hero abilities work in the mode. Or even different, another option that we've given you is you can make it so the flag is dropped if mobility or immunity abilities are used. So all sorts of different examples of things that you can do. You can change the flag return time. You can change the match time if you want. You can change how many flags are re required. And this doesn't just apply to C CTF. You can go into the payload maps and change the payload speed if you think it should be faster or slower. You can change the capture speed on control points if you want. In the control mode, you can even go in and decide what rate does uh, capture percentage accrue at. So if you want that to be faster or slower. You can decide what heroes you want in, in the maps. If you think you know, Tracer is a problem in escort maps, you can turn her off if you want. There's so many options available to you, even, even more so than just turning a simple hero off. You can now go into each individual hero abilities and turn them on or off and adjust their cooldowns if you want. So one of the things that's really fun that we've been having a blast with is setting Widowmaker's uh, cooldown on her grapple hook as low as it can possibly go. So you can pretty much Spider-Man your way through the map with Widowmaker if you want. And when, once you get a bunch of Widowmakers doing this, it's really fun. The creativity is really limitless in what you can do. We've added options where you can set things on a per team basis. So let me give you a quick example of, of something you might want to try there. You could set it so it, a, a custom game that you put up and is available to the public has one team with a single Roadhog with triple his normal health against a team of six other players at lower health. So you can call it like a boss fight or something like that. Um, wherever your creativity takes you, we're trying to give you as many options as possible to play around and come up with fun different ways to play Overwatch. Now, every setting that you could wildly imagine is probably not there in the first version. Already, as we're, we're putting this feature onto the public test realm, we already have some ideas of you know, other features that we'd like to add and other options we'd like to add. So what's exciting to us is as this feature is out there, knowing that this is a, a base or a foundation that we can grow further customization and further new fun options and new fun ways to play Overwatch. So we'll really be looking not only at your requests for like what options you think would be fun and what you want to see added to, to custom game and to the server browser, but also all the, the different things that you're doing, we want to watch and see, you know, wow, everybody's running Capture the Flag with these certain settings. And it seems to be even more popular than our version of the Capture the Flag. We're gonna be paying attention to that and looking to adjust what we're doing based on what's popular with you guys. So it's gonna be a really fun feature. I think it's a really great start to a great feature that's gonna grow over time. We, we really look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about it. And we'll be right there on the PTR with you testing it and we'll be there playing the game with you guys when it goes live. We hope you enjoy it as much as, as we do, and we look forward to what you have to say. Take care.